Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here um, with a closer look at the Acorn Electron. So I only just picked up this machine the other day. I don't have um, much stuff for it, but um, it's quite a good little machine and we can do a fair bit with what we've got here at the moment. So we have the base machine. I'll just go over it again. I've got, um, I'm using a um, composite plug here at the moment. Um, so it's got a very nice robust keyboard, that's the power, an expansion bus at the back, a bit of writing there which I've now shown to you upside down which is probably not going to be very interesting, there's enough there's screws to screw into something, an expansion thing there. In the side we have, um, turn it up this way, so UHF TV, video, RGB and a cassette port. I'm going to order a cassette plug. Um, I can probably live without having um, any better video because, as I'll demonstrate in a second, so we'll just we'll plug in the AV in there. So we're using the absolutely fantastic uh, Amiga Model 1081 monitor. Um, and this is the rigging I have to do to get a UK plug to go in, I have to get a new plug connector. But this is a really good one because it allows me to put the European ones in there. Okay, so we'll plug it in there, it doesn't have an on-off switch. So as soon as we turn it on, immediately we get Acorn Electron with a little Acorn symbol and the word BASIC. Okay, um, I'll try and do this. Okay, so we'll type Right, report, and it tells us which version of the icon we have. Um, and now, actually, I'll just pause a sec and I'll just um, set the camera up, pointing at the screen properly. Okay, folks, note to self buy tripod. Right, um, so. Uh, Acorns and BBCs, um, except the very early BBCs, they had like version 1 basic and an Acorn has version 2 basic, which means it has quite a few advanced commands available. Um, but I mean, obviously, we can do some simple stuff. Now, interesting enough, the, um, all the commands have to be in uppercase, so the computer starts so, and everything works fine, but if you um, Take it out of caps mode and type a command, it doesn't understand what you're talking about. So you have to make sure that you, um, uh, yeah, that you have it in caps lock. Also, it has uh, shortcuts under the keys. Um, so if I hold down the function key, I'll just find something, and uh, I've got a shortcut for list, so I don't have to type it, which is quite good. So now we can um, do run and we get our hello. So in fact, we'll type it in something a little bit just to prove that the um, keyboard's working. Yeah. And there we go, make a type of save already. <laughs> Right now, um, keyboard test. So, so a couple of the keyboards were a little um, unresponsive, uh, probably because the machine hasn't been used much lately. So all I've done is just done a little bit of light typing on them, and they've come alive. Uh, we'll run that one as well. So once again, if I type right in lowercase, it's not going to understand me, but I can leave it in lowercase and use the shortcuts. Right, um, now what I'll do, I'll put a um, slightly larger program in, and watching me type it is not that much fun, uh, and then I'll go through it and explain it, and hopefully that program will uh, show a few more of the features of the Acorn Electron. Okay, back again. Now I've typed in a um, little program. Now you notice the text is smaller. Um, by using the mode command, um, that's, you can you have different um, font widths. So 
let's go back to mode zero there so we can see the listing. We seem to have um, moved off the top of the screen for some reason too. Um, uh, I can't fix that without mucking around around the back. But anyway, you, you should be able to see the first line there. So um, it's a short program taken out of um, the advanced guide to the ACORN. And it demonstrates an interesting point about um, both BBC's the Model 2 and the Acorn Electron is that you can in embed assembly language in the actual basic program. So, um, so we've got a couple of like line 10. We define a um, an operating system call, which is basically a VDU call, and just assign it a value. Um, we we put some memory aside next to things, and we have a loop. Um, and in that loop, inside the square brackets there, you can see that we are executing um, a, some assembly language instructions, some 6502 assembly language instructions for those ones that know. And at the end, uh, we're basically looping around grabbing that data and that's um, executing some video instructions. So, at the end of the day, I'm not going to explain exactly what it does. We run it. and uh, we get a square on the screen and it's changed the mode. So uh, I know it's not a very big demonstration, um, but it illustrates um, you know, quite how powerful little machine these are. Um, and um, you know, quite well built. It's got the um, you know, keyboard shortcuts on the um, keys to save your typing. It gets a little bit of uh, getting used to with the upper and lower case thing. Um, and um, yeah, so I'll be ordering a, um, a cassette cable so I can um, save and also load programs. And um, also with the cassette cable, I should be able to download some some um, audio files to be played in and loaded on the machine, so we can do a few more samples. So this is the first of what I call a new series of um, videos where I'll be going through each of the. Um, retro computers and um, just doing little articles on not just the physical hardware but um, what you can do with them and what you would have been able to do and do um, with them when you got them back when they were originally made all right i hope you've enjoyed this please comment below um, about things you'd like me to do on these particular things and um, i'll catch you all next time